Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Prop Channel. Who's ready for Halloween? We sure are. Definitely might be a bit different this year, but doesn't mean we still can't have fun. As you saw from the quick preview, we're going to be making Halloween meringue cookies. We've been really into meringue cookies these days because it's an easy dessert to make, but there's so many different ways you can make them. And as time goes on, hopefully my skills get better and better where I can start doing all the crazy stuff. There's some crazy meringue cookie artists out there. Props. But for now, we're sticking to the basics. Alright, so we're going to need six egg whites in a bowl. If you watched our other meringue videos, I'm sure you know how to separate the egg yolk from the egg whites now. But if this is your first time, all you need to do is move the yolk from one half of the shell to the other. Now we'll need to use this hand mixer to make our meringue. So we're at the halfway mark here, and you'll notice the egg whites are starting to get frothy. At this time, we need to pour in one cup of sugar, but not all at once. Oh yeah! Sugar! Sugar! You are so sweet! I need help. I love sugar way too much. Let's use the hand mixer again. You'll notice the egg whites get creamier at this time. Stop again! And you know what time it is! It's sugar time! Let's mix again. You want to make sure the meringue is slightly firm. Alright, let's add the last bit of our sugar and mix it again. If this is your first time turning into a meringue video, yeah, we're going to do a lot of mixing. Meringue cookie makers are like the DJs of the pastry world, just mixing for days. Anyway, now that we got our sugar mixed in, let's add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix it again. Perfect! Now I believe our meringue is slightly firm. Let's take a closer look. Yep, that's slightly firm. Beautiful! Okay, now it's time to separate the meringue into different bowls. White meringue is not a Halloween color, unless if we're making a ghost. Since we are making a pumpkin, we will need a lot of orange. But, we'll need some other colors too. Let's add three scoops into this bowl, and let's add two scoops each into the other bowls. We'll make orange meringue using the original bowl. Mix it up. Ooh, that looks cool. I love when the hand mixer mixes different colors. Perfect. Here's our orange meringue. Next, we'll make green. This is the bowl with three scoops. We'll also need purple and black. Now that we have all of our meringue colors, Let's put them into piping bags. Start with the orange. Now let's make the green piping bag. Now let's make the purple piping bag. And last but not least, let's make the black piping bag. Perfect! Okay, so I know I said we were sticking to the basics, but this one actually requires some skill. But, it should still be very doable. Let's use the orange piping bag to make a pumpkin. Actually, we're making two pumpkins. So let's make a larger one right here. Perfect! Now if you're thinking, that doesn't look like a pumpkin, come on, just wait a little bit. Still working on this masterpiece. But let me go ahead and make a few more pumpkins. So, I'm actually having a harder time making these pumpkins because I have the wrong piping tips. And no, I'm not making excuses, even though I literally am, but just want to let everyone know I'll be ordering new piping tips and hopefully I can make some cleaner looking shapes in the future. So just keep that in mind. Overall, still looks pretty good though, right? 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 Alright, now that we have our pumpkins, it's time to use the green meringue to make the stems and leaves starting to look like a Halloween pumpkin, right? I told ya. I told ya to be patient. I know the green meringue is supposed to be the leaves and whatnot, but it also looks like the pumpkins are on fire. I like it. Did I plan this, or was this by accident? You'll never find out. Now let's add some purple meringue. 
you can pretty much use your imagination. This purple meringue can be a ghost, monster blood, candy, witch's tears, or anything. Purple, orange, and black are also Halloween colors, so you can just say that too. Give me a minute while I add purple meringue drops here and there. Okay, now let's use this black meringue to make bats. So like I said earlier, these tips aren't the best, so I ended up making stingrays instead of bats. So I guess I made a bat ray, and I looked that up, and the bat ray really does exist. Okay, decorations are done. Now set your oven to 200 degrees, and keep your cookies in the oven for two hours. Alright, here's how the cookies look after two hours. But we're not finished yet. Now let's make our pumpkin faces. We'll give this pumpkin a mischievous smile. And we'll make a scary face for this pumpkin. Do the same for the other ones. By the way, no need to copy these faces. You can make whatever you like. Psst, I think the bottom pumpkin's mad because there's another pumpkin sitting on top of it. Okay, now let's take a closer look. Wow, this is a really cool cookie. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do y'all think? It's a 10, right? Come on. Yeah, it's a 10. Here's a closer look at the one with our bat rays. Whoa, the bat rays turned into a dark purple color. Pretty cool. Anyone dressing up as a pumpkin for Halloween this year? Write in the comments what your Halloween costume is. And also write what your favorite candy is. With that said, I don't care how sweet this is. I'm digging in. If you watched our previous videos, you already know what this tastes like. But, I'll do another taste test for anyone watching this for the first time. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This cookie is delicious. I love, love, love how it melts in your mouth right away. I'm taking another bite. Oh yeah, this is insane! Warning, these cookies do get stuck in your teeth, so it's a little annoying, but it's still totally worth making. Have a happy Halloween, and try this at home. I think you'll like it. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button for more awesome videos. See ya!